Let's call it from a federal prison. Shout out Mikey T, the movie star. This is AR Ab talking to y'all from the federal prison. This is a jail phone I'm talking to y'all from, so you know it's special. I'm wasting my 15 minutes of jail phone call talking to Mikey T, man. So that's how y'all know I fuck with him, man. Shout out Mikey So, yo, Ab, yo, I wanted to ask you, I wanted to ask you about going to court. Uh, what do you most remember about going to court, Ab? Going to court, I remember, uh, I remember knowing that I probably was going to lose. You dig what I'm saying? I'm, like, I'm going to lose this motherfucker, man, because the judge was allowing so many, so much info, info in that shit's been allowed in, like they're using my music. They let Tess lie about a murder, said I was involved in it, and they know it was a lie. You dig what I'm saying? Like, if you talk to, he lied to say a friend of mine named OBH Bertle was involved in the shooting, and he was the one that did it, and my thing is the DA, the, the federal agents know he was lying. They know Bertle ain't got nothing to do with it. Bertle never been, even been questioned for that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So Tess lied, and the, and the federal agents aided Tess on lying. On Birdo, just because Birdo name is Birdo OVH, and Tez is kind of like he lied to save somebody else, but he lied to make OVH look worse, like we was a violent gang or something. You dig know what I'm saying? Yep. So they was that no, they was, the judge was let, making all this shit permissible when it shouldn't have been permissible. You dig know what I'm saying? I'm in charge with drugs. Why I just want to stand tainting the jury talking about a murder? You know what I'm saying? We sit there like it's not a murder trial, it's a drug trial. This boy was describing murders. That he done, you know what I'm saying? And this is a fucking drug trial. So my thing is, you already taking the jury like we a violent group, and we ain't got no violence in our indictment. You know what I mean? Yeah, like uh, in other indictments, we hear that they actually have murder listed in the indictment, and that wasn't actually something listed on yours. So it's kind of irrelevant. So why this guy exactly? So why this guy talking about a murder in front of the jury? You dig what I'm saying? And they're using the little diss tracks I had about another rapper. And they try to say it was, I was referring to somebody that got killed. It's like, what are you talking about? This is a fucking rap diss, rap beef diss. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that shit, they, they, they use our culture. They use our culture and they flip it and bounce it and make it seem like I'm talking about drugs and violence. Like say, a friend of mine got locked up for some drugs. I just made a rap like, yeah. My dog got locked up for some Let's call it from a federal prison. I made a rap like, my, my dog got locked up for some work. And they say, see, this is what he talking about. He talking about that guy. You know what I'm saying? They just like insinuated. And the jury heard it and the judge that it be permissible when it shouldn't have been permissible. You can't use my lyrics. I wrote that rap a year before the guy even got locked up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's how they was flipping me around. So I'm in trial. I kind of knew. I'm like, I'm going to lose. But... In the federal system, you understand that you're going to lose. You understand that you get your relief on the appeal circuit. It's not like the state. The state, it takes people 10, 20 years to get a pill. In the federal, in, in federal court, if you got a, if, if you got a great issue, you can come back within a year or two after you get sentenced. You dig know what I'm saying? On direct appeal. You know what I'm saying? If the issue good enough, and I got good enough issues, my lawyer represented Dante Stewart before. So my lawyer, legally, my lawyer cannot cross-examine him. My lawyer, you know, wasn't supposed to be my lawyer if Taz got on the stand. You dig what I'm saying? Yep, yep, I hear that. Yep. My lawyer, because my lawyer got a loyalty to Taz and me. You dig what I'm saying? So he can't cross his hand with me. If uh, you got a co defendant, if your lawyer represented any of your co defendants, he can't represent you on this current trial. If you represent him, I don't give a fuck if it's 20 years ago. If you got co defendants and he represented any of them 20 years ago, he can't represent you. My lawyer represented Taz like a year prior, a year or two prior. You dig what I'm saying? Yep, that's definitely a conflict of interest. It's uh, a conflict of interest, exactly. But oh, basically, sorry. I, I got to get a whole new trial just because of that. That's why I was saying don't get deterred. Don't get discouraged or distraught when you hear the sentence they're trying to give me. Because I got to get a whole new trial because my lawyer wasn't supposed to represent me if Ted, I mean, if Ted got on the stand. He wasn't supposed to cross, he can't cross his hand and Ted. I did get a fair trial because my lawyer can't ask him all the questions he can ask him. He can't, he can't cross his hand in the way he's supposed to cross his hand. So I got to get a whole new trial. After they sentence me, I'm gonna put the motion in, and they gotta grant me and give me a whole new trial. Um, Ab, you know what I'm saying, yeah, I definitely see what you're saying. There's a couple different things right in that alone. 
But, um, Ab, I wanted to ask you, were you there actually the day when Dark Lowe was escorted out of the courtroom? Yeah, I was in the courtroom, yeah. Do you remember Dante that? Dante Stewart didn't want, Dante didn't want to testify if Dark Lowe was in the courtroom. So they went and escorted him out. Yeah. Yeah, that shit, that shit. It was other witnesses, it was other witnesses that didn't testify that was on there. It's a lot of stuff, it's, it's a lot of stuff it says, man, that people don't understand, like, all right, let's, 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 let's say Trent said a shady. Trent said a shady. He had a statement on us. Like, he really had a fucking, he proffered, he wrote a statement on us. He did an interview on us. Like, he told on us. You know what I'm saying? So what happened was, since they wasn't going to use him at our trial, they took, they, they took out, for your discovery, for your, uh, your discovery, your discovery is like your evidence in your case. They give them to you, right? But they take them back every day. You know what I'm saying? Cause they give them to you on this. So they take it back from the inmates every day. So when they gave us discovery and we seen a, a Trent said a shady statement, the, 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 the uh, DA rushed to, over to the jail and took all our discs from us so they could take a statement off of it so nobody can't copy it enough. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But uh, Trent said a shady also told on his friends out of Allentown. But in this phase, they got a lot of shit redacted. So he used that. Like, see, they caught this cross done. They got that cross done. That's how they made it up. That boy lying. That boy got a statement on us. He ain't got a statement on them. Yep. So yeah, you know that. What's so, call? It's from a federal prison. Yeah. Um, I had to ask you about Meek Mill actually shouting you out recently when he was actually in a club or a lounge listening to y'all record together. Well, you gotta understand that me and Meek Mill go way back before all the beef and shit. Before Meek Mill had a record deal, before I ever was, you know, I mean, a big uh, a rapper that had some notoriety, notoriety. Me and him was friends at one time. You think what I'm saying? So, do all the bullshit, do all the bullshit. And then it wasn't never really just me and him head up. Man. Except for the one situation, that Drake situation, we went head up a little bit. But most of the time, it was just our entourage. So, and I kind of knew that we, me and him, personally, wasn't ever going to get to no physical violence or nothing. And we always been friends before that. And we talked after that. So, I shouted him out of my rap when he got locked up. You know what I'm saying? He shouted me out when I'm locked up, man. It ain't no... It ain't, it ain't no bad blood at all, man. You know, I'm all about unity, man. I'm all about uniting people, man. You think what I'm saying? It's us against the government, man. It's us against this federal government. It's us against the, the, the establishment, man. You think what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I hate to hear about rat beef now because I know how they're going to use it against them. us. You know what I mean? If they, the fans are targeting motherfucking rappers right now, man. And all the rat beef, all the rap lyrics, they're going to use it against you and try to cook you in trial. You know what I mean? Yep, it's evident. So I'm, I'm totally against that. I was happy he shouted me out. That's what's up, man. You dig know what I'm saying? I just wish there was more unity in Philadelphia, man. You dig know what I'm saying? I like what Uzi, I, I like what Lil Uzi Vert doing in Philly. He got all the like he doing songs with all the the new artists and it's like four people in the jail who got a song with Lil Uzi Vert. You know what I mean? You never heard of him. I like that about Lil Uzi Vert and all the you know he got no Philly. He got all the people. He, he telling you like the people. I like what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? I just hope the whole Philly come together and, and, and you know and unite like that, man. That's crazy, bro. That's what's up. That beat, that beat me. It's only, it's, only a, it's only a minute left. I'm going to call you back anyway. We're going to ask you one more question before the phone hangs up. All right, cool. But yeah, yo, Ab, what's something that Meek Mill said to you that you always remember? What you mean, say it again? What's something that Meek Mill told you that you always will remember? Man, yo, one thing he told me that I always remember was about him working hard, man. When I was out doing a whole bunch of knucklehead shit, and all the rappers that had buzzers do a whole bunch of knucklehead shit, Meek Mill was in that motherfucking studio working, man. That shit paid off, man. He used he, he, he to be in the studio seven days a week for about 10 hours, 12 hours a day, man. And that shit paid off for him, man. I was a knucklehead. I was in the streets doing all types of bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? When I should have been in the studio with him, when he offered me to get on his first mixtape, first flamers and I, and I was in the streets doing knucklehead shit, man. So what happened in there, Ab, man, when this crazy was running around and he actually lacerated you, he sliced you, stabbed you? What happened with that shit, man? No, this dude, he got a mental illness, man, and we knew it. We knew it. It was kind of my fault. I knew this boy was a fucking... He first was angry and smoking the cake, too. Shit, you know what I'm saying? So he just had episodes. He just go crazy. And he was just, like, you know, talking to himself. And people trying to kill his daughter, and he just, 
he's supposed to be in the mental, he's supposed to be in the mental health unit, you know what I'm saying? They took him off the block, but they brought him back. I thought they were going to put him on the mental health unit, you know what I'm saying? But they brought him back to the block. And he's just pacing around, and everybody should be looking at this motherfucker like he was crazy. But on top of his craziness, this motherfucker kept walking around with two fucking knives. You know what I'm saying? So, Damn. Yeah, I was on the phone and shit, talking to, you know, my wife and shit, and this crazy motherfucker snuck up behind me and stabbed me in the back of my head and was screaming like, you said you were going to kill my daughter. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? And then he took off to start chasing niggas and trying to stab niggas and hit niggas and lock and shot and you know, all types of things. Man, that's that's crazy, man. Back in my head, while I was on the phone and shit, and he ran off and started chasing my brother. And then you know, guards came and started spraying the whole block with me. I didn't know I was stabbed after he had punched me back in my head. I turned around, he was running with two knives in his hand. You know what I'm saying? Facing people, chasing another motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm like this motherfucker crazy. And that's, that was my brother, old Shelly. So my brother was like, yo, ass, chill, chill, man. He crazy, he crazy, he crazy. You know what I mean? Still, he crazy, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, this motherfucker, I'm going to hurt this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he crazy, he crazy. That was my brother, that was my brother, old Shelly. And he's in the hole and shit. My brother like, he crazy, he crazy. I was watching this movie that made me think of you. It was uh, with Don Cheadle. It was called Traitor. At one point, he had got sliced in his arm, and then they just threw him into uh, solitary confinement for weeks without even tending to the wound. They threw, him, they, they threw me in there because they had to do investigation. They said because my status, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't the only person that got hit, you know what I'm saying? It was my status, and he was like, I'm a, you know what I mean? I got some type of forms. They thinking like somebody put a hit on me or some old crazy shit like that. But then when they did that, so they had an investigator. And they investigated, they found out the boy had mental illness. They let me out the hole. But the boy, he he walked around asshole naked in the hole. And he screams all day and wipes shit on the wall. He's really like out of his fucking mind, man. And it's sad because he's young. He just went crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Ab, I really appreciate you giving me a call to talk to me, man. Um, I know you have served time before a lengthy period of time. Um, what is it like now with COVID going on in comparison to the last time you served a little bid? Like, how? What's the difference? My first guy here, we could be out all day. Now they do uh, uh, social distance. They let certain amount of people out at a time now. You know what I'm saying? So they let they lock one tear in, let one tear out for a certain amount of hours, and lock up one other tear in, let the other tear out. For a certain amount of hours, they switch it up. So, you know what I mean? If you ain't got no juice, no legs, you're going to be in your cell. But if you got legs, you can be out all day. You know what I'm saying? Like that, you know? So you, you can't be out all day no more. Let everybody know your health. Are you eating good? Um, Is there anything anybody can do to help your situation? My health is, like, better, man. I'm working out all day. I just did 500 burpees earlier. You know, I, I, I run for, like, an hour. Uh, you know, I might do burpees for like an hour and a half straight, all burpees. You know what I'm saying? That's how I work out. Push-ups, burpees, and running. You know what I mean? I lost about like 60 pounds since I've been. Oh, that's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. You know, it's good to hear that you're doing well, man. You know, I'm going to try to do some different things out here for, for you. Like, I personally want to write Kim Kardashian about your case um, I know she takes a lot of uh, consideration when it comes to music and entertainment, sports and entertainment. So I think your case is something she should hear about. I think the fans are targeting them. They pop artists, you know. Casanova, NBA young boy, yourself. I was just talking about it. And you know, uh, you know they use my music and shit at my trial. That's my first thing they write. That's, I'm, that's another issue I'm going to get back on the pillow from. You can't use my first and then it's right with the street feet and the weapon again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, we got to do what we can, man. You know what I mean? But I know you're working at it every single day. I don't let it go every single day. I'm still thinking about it every single day. You know what I mean? It's a blessing that Dark Low is home. You know, I know you're coming home soon, Ab. Yeah, yeah, I'll be home soon. What's going on with your sentence and Ab? How are you feeling about all that? Oh, I'm going to get sentenced. 
if I do get sentenced, we try to we try and get this shit up till we try and get some shit happen before sentence. But if I happen to do get sentence, like before all this shit comes through, I'm probably gonna get hit with a lot of time, but I'm gonna be right back on a pill. We talk we talk like a year, you know what I'm saying? You think you're gonna get hit with a bunch of time app? Yeah, but that's not that's not the it's the fair, that's not like it ain't gonna it ain't gonna stick, you dig what I'm saying? It's guidelines they gotta follow, so but we got some paperwork and shit in where though we trying to get it done before my you know what I'm saying? So we trying to get it done before my sentence, you dig what I'm saying? So before my sentence and we're gonna get it done after the sentence. That's why that's why I'm saying, like if I if I don't get it done before my sentence you don't hit me with a lot of time, but I'll be back like in a year and get the time right, taking picking right off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we know how that shit goes for you, man. You've stood the test of time before. You know, you've beaten you've beaten charges before, like what you went through with Cassidy, having to take it all the way to trial. Yeah, so they did some of the wrong stuff at my trial. That they, uh, I got to get a new trial. So we try and get it situated now. But sometimes it don't go that way, and you might not get a situation after saying, "But me give me a new trial." You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because right now they're trying to throw out headlines saying that NBA young boy is going to serve a hundred years in jail. They're saying they're trying to charge him for a hundred years in jail. It's crazy. One thing about the feds, like, let me tell you something about the feds. They whole thing is they not continue to charge you wrong. And they got like, uh, when they say you like, you, you face a certain amount of years, it'd be like 15 to life, you know what I'm saying? Or 10 to life, you know what I'm saying? They be saying, oh, he's facing a, he's facing a life, he possibly a life sentence, you know what I'm saying? People don't really get the life sentence, it'd be like 10 years to life, you know what I'm saying? They just say he's possibly facing life, up, up to life, you know what I'm saying? A motherfucker might only get 10 years, but they were like, he's facing up to life, you know what I'm saying? That's actually going to fail, you know what I'm saying? But 9 times 10. If you fight them head up, you gonna you gonna eat, you gonna beat them in the field because they are gonna make a whole bunch of mistakes. They conviction rate so high because people take deals when they tell. Most people tell, and then a lot of people take deals and cop out because somebody told on them. They gotta take a deal. You know what I'm saying? Were you ever actually offered any deals, Ab? They offered me twenty two and a half years. It's crazy. They offered you twenty two and a half years. Um. I believe one of my homies, Hot Boy Turk, actually got sentenced to 22 years and came home in about eight. They offered me 22 and a half years, but all my cooler things will have to take a plea to. If it, if it comes down to me getting sentenced, don't get, just don't get distraught by the number. I'll be right back. You be That's right. Y'all hear it right here from Ab, man. Don't, di don't get distraught by the number. I'm not either because, you know, I know how this game is going to go from what you've been telling me. You got to fight this in appeal to get those years back. I've seen it go through Max B. You know, Max B went from 75 years to 12 years, you know, so we've seen it play out. And, and, and federal, it's easier because they got a 97% conviction rate but an 87% conviction over time rate. So 87% of the people who get convicted get it overturned that shit. That's how crooked this thing is. And you know, everyone's taking bets on Cassidy versus Hitman Holla right now, you know? They're taking bets on that. I don't know who I got on that battle. I don't, I don't know who to choose, man. I know on that platform, Cassidy wasn't really doing too good on that platform, on the new, you know, the new style of battle. Mm -hmm. When Cass used to battle, and like, like when I used to battle, it, it all depends. It all was based on bars. Who had the best bars? But now it's like in, in the new battle artists. They got like a whole bunch. They got schemes. They got like fucking uh, props. They got all types of shit. So they can freestyle top of their head. They can like improvise and they they do the research on you. That's a whole different style of battle. You know what I'm saying? So, Ab, what did you make a Hitman Holla going over to Wild and Out? Do you think that lessens his credibility? No, I don't know. Hitman ain't made some money, man. That ain't, ain't lessening his credibility. My thing is, only thing, my thing is, I wonder if he still got the hunger. You know, when you first come battling, you hungry. You got all types of, you know what I'm saying? You just, you, you just do a different animal, you know what I'm saying? 
when you get that paper, you might not be as hungry. Like Cass, Cass blew up. Before Cass blew up, he was a battle rapper. But now, when he's a big artist, I don't, you know what I mean? The hunger, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if he's that hungry no more, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I say it's up for grabs. Well, you know, know both of them, you well, know, I, they, I they, think. It's on TV. Both of them went mainstream, you know what I'm saying? Now, if they was a battle like one of them hungry little, one of them hungry battle rappers, I don't know, man. You know what I mean? I think hunger wins the battle. Yeah. Yeah, and you was uh you was talking the other day, you were telling me because I was I was talking about Hitman Holla. He looked like he was about to about ready to rumble with Cassidy, man. I you know, I seen Hitman Holla brother knock people out, you know what I'm saying? On uh on, on URL stage and shit. And I know Saint Louis is a rough, rough place. So growing up there you gotta have, you gotta be a tough guy, man. I also know that Cass know how to box, you know what I'm saying? I believe he had boxing training. So I don't know. I know Cass not a fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. I don't it's... know if they the four. I don't know who the one. You know what I'm saying? I think Hitman Holla got the size. I know Cass got the skill set, though. You know what I'm saying? It's St. Louis versus Philly, man. But you know, you were saying Cassidy. Oh, St. Louis versus Philly, man. You know what I'm saying? It's Hitman Holla versus Cassidy, man. I got it. Philly got love for St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? St. Louis got love for Philly, man. Yep, two of the best hip hop cities right there. But um, but you know, uh, Ab Cassidy's getting the biggest bags he's gotten in a while for battle rap now, man. I think he should That's really up, be excited. Man. That's what's up, man. I'm, I'm I'm happy for him. You know what I'm saying? I, I believe he deserves it. He's like one of the top, you know, pioneers of the. Now he he's he like a pioneer of the battle shit, man. You know when he was battling, he was crushing shit, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he should be like, he should get paid just to be judge, a judge and shit like that because how, how he came up, his roots come from battling. Right, right. Early in the days when he battled Freeway in front of Jay-Z and Swiss Beats. Yeah. 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 Freeway, one of my favorite Philly rappers, man. All we thought Cash was a better, better battle rapper than Freeway. All we thought that Freeway probably could make a better song, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, a lot of people say that that battle with Cassidy really hurt Freeway's credibility. What do you think about that? It ain't hurt his credibility as a battle rapper. Free not, I mean, because you're losing a battle, that don't hurt your credibility. Free's a good person. He's a good man. I mean, and he he's a hot rapper, you know what I'm saying? I, I love his raps, man. His first album was a classic, you ask me. Right, but in terms of, not in terms of battle and ab, but what about in terms of him releasing albums? It's like, damn, you just lost the battle to Cassidy. No, he released the album after that, and I believe that album was a classic. A lot of people really love that album. Yeah, Freeway, um, rest in peace, Freeway's son. He just passed away, as well as Oskino's son. Rest very. peace, man. Peace in paradise. Yeah, man, very, very sorry to hear that. But, you know, Oskino's actually got a new podcast going, Deeper Than Rap, and Freeway... Freeway and him are both, you know, moving on in a positive manner, and I really respect that from those two men. What's up, man? I, I, you know, that's what's up, man. I'm proud of O, man. O came a long way, man. O came from the prisons to getting shot up and all that, and then he got a podcast. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of Wallow, too. Wallow and Gilly, man. I'm happy about this podcast. Oh, yeah. Wallow is out killing it right now, Ab. And Gilly is really... You know, I just spoke with Gilly the other day, and I had to ask him. I was like, yo, Gil, is this the favorite part of your career? You know, but, but Ab, man, I'm, I'm looking forward to all the history and the future that we're going to make, man. What was Gilly's Gilly answer to that question you asked? Uh, Gilly, uh, Gilly was like, you know, Gilly really liked the rapping part of his career. Gilly really loved that rapping part of his career because, you know, he was going to everybody when like... I was young, right? Yeah. We... The story, right? Gilly walked on my block. It was just him and Bump. They had dicky suits on there. One-piece dicky suits, right? You know, we and Gilly from the same hood, but he, he, was, he was from like three blocks up, you know what I'm saying? So, he come down my block. We 15 deep out there, man. And his confidence, it, it blew my mind because we like... We probably like 30 deep, man. No exaggeration. I'm a young guy. Like, I'm probably like 13, 14. But I'm out there with all my old heads. Gilly just walked up with this arrogance and this cockiness and said, and just challenged my, my old head to a battle. And Gilly destroyed him. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And after that, I was like, this motherfucker know how to rap, man. You know what I'm saying? 
this before made the figures and all that. This was like this hood shit, you know what I'm saying? They used to go around from hood to hood and just battle people. And they used to, like, Gilly and them used to be crushing shit back then. It's Gilly. Gilly would say that Cassidy lost to this rapper from my neighborhood, my neighborhood named Lil Rocky. Right. Lil Rocky's like my age and shit like that. He was the younger guy and made the figures. Everybody around my way said Cass lost to him in the battle. You know, Cass is originally from my neighborhood, too. They said Cass lost to him. But Cass told me he beat him. But everybody in my neighborhood said Cass lost to him. Yep. That's why a lot of people say Cassidy was 5,001 because of Rocky. Bump was actually telling me about that. Oh, so you heard that? You heard about that? Yeah. Bump, Ablava, Spado, they all told me about it, yeah. Yeah, and you know, and Lil Rocky was the guy that they wanted me to battle look Lil Rocky back in the day. I was like, man, I ain't battling that motherfucker, man. That nigga, that Lil Rocky was hot as shit, man. That's dope, man. That's dope to hear about Little Rucky. Rest in peace, man. They all hold him really fondly. Little Rucky was special, man. Little Rucky was live, man. He could have he could have went down to one of the best, man. Out of Philly, man. He was special. Yeah, but you know, like like Ab Gilly was at a point where he was taking meetings with Jimmy Iovine and Fifty Cent and Jay Z. So the music part know. of his career was like I really. Was, I don't know was the arrogance because you gotta understand they fame spread across the whole country, word of mouth. So. I guess he believed he found he had he had too much equity to take what they was offering back then. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. I really want to talk to Gilly about that because Fifty had said that he asked Interscope for one point five million. Yeah. Which I mean, I guess I guess that's what he feel like he worked. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, Gilly, Gilly was. Always gonna make money, man. Gilly, he's a. He's an entertainer, man. He's he more than a rapper, you know what I'm saying? He, can, he entertain. He's, he, he's funny as shit, you know what I'm saying? And he got a good heart. He, he always trying to help artists out, man. That's one guy from Philly, I can say, who really trying to help a lot of artists. He, he's the first one that took me, you know, on a comic show by myself to let me, like, he got me up there to let me rap on the radio with Cosmic Cat. First person that took me up to was Cass. I went up there with Cassidy. But to go up there by myself, it was big, man. Gilly uh, at Cass let me come up there. You know what I'm saying? He told me about that. Yeah, so. yep, he told me about that, man. Yeah, that's dope. And Oskino, besides Cassidy, Oskino was the first rapper that did a song with me. You know what I'm saying? Yo, and it, it's... It's just crazy to think, you know, like you got Breakfast Club, you've got Drink Champs, and now you got million dollars worth of game on the real, like in Philly. Yo, Ab, I really appreciate you calling me. I want to give you the floor to address everything that's been going on with Dark Low and Leak Moss. The OBH fans are really confused. Uh, man, there's a, lot, there's a lot going on, bro. I ain't, you know, you know, my thing ain't really about like getting into it too much. Internet beef, regardless of who it is, man. Especially when it's internal, you know what I'm saying. So my feelings is hurt. I ain't gonna lie. You dig know what I'm saying? But uh, you know what I mean? It's like I can't really do too much in head. In head, you dig know what I'm saying? Two grown men. You dig know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. One thing that confused the people, even Dark Low, is that leak the leak Moss diss record. It actually ended up on your page, your official Instagram app. Leak run my page. You know what I'm saying? You got the uh, got the code to my page. You feel what I'm saying? Leak run my page. I ain't put the disc record up. Leak. You run my page. You dig what I'm saying? Yep. I, I actually gave it to Leak. Like they basically, I told him you had this shit. You dig what I'm saying? But I, I'm a, I'm a, you know, man. Leak had a long, 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 long talk, man. We argued and. At the end of the day, that's my blood, bro. We got the same mom, same dad. You know, what I'm saying? You know if I need him, he always there. If he need me, I'm always there. I don't agree with the, I don't agree with the shit that's going on. All the shit that's going on, though. You dig what I'm saying? It ain't really my thing. I don't do the internet shit like that, especially when it's internal. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little confused right now. You know what I mean? My head is. You dig what I'm saying? There's a lot going on. Man. Yeah, I know, man. And, you know, I want to be completely clear. I have three brothers myself, Ab. I would never pit another brother against a brother. What I want to do is really mend these issues, man. And I know, Ab, that you're the one to mend the issues. I talked to my brother Lee, man. And my thing is, he feels strongly about his position. You dig what I'm saying? 
feel real strong about his position. You know what I'm saying? I argue with him, you know, against the way he's going about it. You dig what I'm saying? You know, man, Lee, Lee's my blood brother. We always, you know, we never, we, there's a lot of times we didn't agree on a lot of stuff. You dig what I'm saying? But his own man, you know, he, 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 he handled his business like a man. He went up to his time like a man. You dig what I'm saying? So people think I got a, I got a lot of control over him. I really don't. You dig what I'm saying? Like, me and Lee always had two different sets of friends and everything. You dig what I'm saying? Lee really hung up Erie Ave. I hung up Allegheny. You dig what I'm saying? Our, our friends, a lot, growing up, our friends didn't really like each other. Back in the day, me and Lee had this track going at each other. You dig what I'm saying? Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that, but more so people in Philly do, but not like the world. And, you know, we're really touching the world now, Ab. But, but, but the whole thing is, at the end of the day, that's my blood brother, and I love him to death. You take what I'm saying? So, it just, you know what I mean? It's a lot, man. man. I don't want this shit to go on. I totally disagree with the, with the, with the beef that's going on right now. I totally disagree with it. I want to say that, like, I understand that it's a business, so all the blogs, a lot of blogs is antagonizing the situation. You know what I'm saying? I understand it's their business, all the bloggers, all the, all the you know, everybody with their blogs and their fucking Instagram lives and all that other shit, they antagonizing the issue, you know what I'm saying? And shit, some, some dark shit might come behind it, you know what I'm saying? So, like, they ain't cool, but I understand the business. I talked to, I talked to Leek. I haven't talked to Lowe since he's been home. When I finally do talk to Low, you think what I'm saying? My thing is, I'll make sure that it's just rap. You think what I'm saying? They keep the shit on, they, they keep the shit music. You think what I'm saying? I don't want it to go down, but I, I, I see that I really can't stop it. My thing is, just keep the music down. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Keep it on, keep it on wax, as they say. Um, and you know, uh, Low had explained to me the reason he couldn't contact you is because of a court ordered reason, Ab, just so nobody gets that confused. At the end of the day, I'm OBH, you dig what I'm saying? I run OBH records, you dig what I'm saying? There's nothing that we can do, low can do, or anyone else can do to break that, you dig what I'm saying? Leak and low is artists under OBH records, you dig what I'm saying? I got the final say so, I got the basically the only really say so, you dig what I'm saying? That's my company, you dig what I'm saying? I built that joint from the ground up, you dig what I'm saying? Uh, Facts, My whole thing is nobody got to say so. I got to say so, but <clears throat> at the end of the day, everybody was in jail. Leek was home. So Leek, my blood brother, I trust him. I gave him the key to my Instagram. I gave him the key to the OVH records. You think what I'm saying? Around how he feel it should be ran. And then when my cousin Naeem came, my scheme came on, I told him to do it. You dig what I'm saying? So this is why... The disc fires up my page because Leek got my page. You dig what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I hope I never seen the interview, and when I get a chance to see it, you know what I mean. I hope and pray that you know everything is sturdy on that joint. You dig what I'm saying? Regardless of what's going on, we got we put a deal with that shit in the house. You dig what I'm saying? Regardless of any issues we got, you know what I'm saying? We deal with the in-house. We don't go to the, go on the internet and do that shit. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, Ab. That's my whole thing. At the end of the day, though, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm with you. I'm with you 100% on that, Ab. Yeah, I want peace, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you know, I don't want to see nobody at home. I don't want to see nobody go to jail. And the day, Leak is my blood, brother. Same mom, same day. I love him to death. You dig what I'm saying? Yep. And just like, it's an ugly situation. You dig what I'm saying? Right. Right. All I want to see, you know, is OBH prosper, is OBH prosper, man. And, you know, I think with... It's going to prosper as long as I'm still breathing, man. You dig what I'm saying? And, you know, I think with this statement now, a lot of the OBH fans could really get past this, put it to bed, and focus on what we need to focus on. And that's the elevation of all the artists. And in a day, like, Growing up, my friends and Leek friends, Leek had his friends and had my friends. You dig what I'm saying? You know, we ain't know, you know, my friends don't got to be friends with Leek. Leek friends don't got to be friends with me. You dig what I'm saying? Right. But 
So people actually hit you about the chow time record? Yeah, they say a lot of people say it was hot. So you're saying if anything, if anything, just keep it on wax and you wouldn't mind if Lowe responded? No, no, just keep it on track. My thing is, I, I, Lowe not no push Leak, Leak made a track, a track, track by him. I expect Lowe to make one back. I can't tell Lowe to sit on his hands and, let, let you know, let somebody diss him. You know what I mean? My whole thing is, he probably won't make a track back. Maybe you make a track back. Both of y'all just keep it on track. I... I preferably don't want to see him making no track. Neither one of them. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Leak already struck first. You dig know what I'm saying? I can't. If somebody punch you, I can't tell you don't punch him back. You dig know what I'm saying? So, he struck first. And it's just like, I, you know, I expect little try to strike back. What is this track? I just hope it's hot and I hope they keep it on track. That's it. Keep it on whack. That's it. Yeah, it's kind of like what you were saying earlier. You both have your own friends, so that doesn't mean everybody that's within the OBH label has to be friends. It's a label. It's a business. Exactly. Most of them ain't friends. Most of them don't even know each other. You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand, man, Leak had this track about each other fucking back in, back, way back in the day. 20 years ago, man, Leak dissed each other. You dig what I'm saying? Not nothing new. Leak dissed me before. You think what I'm saying? So... <laughs> Wow. I don't take it like something, you know what I mean, something violent or physical, you think what I'm saying? Word, yeah, alright, so some people could be taking this out of context, like, Leak is dissed ab before, like, it's something that a lot of the OBH members don't even know each other, some don't like each other, this is kind of something common in hip-hop, ab. Exactly, it's gonna be shit, like, it's gonna be little beefs, Leak this me before, I diss Leak before, you think what I'm saying? Right, right. My whole joint is, if Logan strike back, just keep it on wax, man. Leave it at that, man. Let me tell you who's working hard right now. Lil Johnny's working hard right now. He got a whole new project EP called Trap Metal. Yeah, he always had his own genre. First he was doing Trap Horror. I guess now he's on Trap Metal. That's a, that's, a, that's a good vibe. He always had his own lane. That's why I like to buy him so much. If you DJ Paul, whoever, man, go fuck with Lil Johnny. He's a raw little nigga, man. Hell yeah, man. You're hearing it from Ab's mouth right here. He fuck actually... Man, and, and, and fuck with my man Bricks, man. Bricks Trench boy. Bricks is a raw little youngin', man. Bricks has shown me love since I've been in here, man. Shout out Raisin. Everybody else that me shot me out. Shout out Free Shot Money. Free the Wolf. Free OBH. Free Skinny Me. Free Shot Money. Free all my co-defendants, man. You know what I'm saying? Free Shotty, Moolah, OG, Cods. Free everybody. Free the men, yo. Free No Breaks Bronx. No Breaks Bronx is 100% sturdy. I'm staying on that. Well, got something to say about that, man. Like, you know, I got a problem with it. You dig know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, Ab, you better tell tell Braz I'm still talking about BET, shouting him out on Twitter back in the day, man. He's probably going to annoy him. He'd be like, man, that's a crazy bull, but let him know I'm still talking about that shit in the lives every chance I get. Damn, man. And chain letters. Uh-uh. Really appreciate you calling, Ab. I'm 100% against the little beef that's going on, man. It ain't really my choice. I talked to Leek about it, and Leek had an argument about it. You know, he standing on what he's standing on. You dig know what I'm saying? My, my thing is peace and money, man. I want, I want, I, you know, I want some money, man. The OBS movie coming soon, too, man. OBS book coming first in the OBS movie, man. I might do OBS series, too. The life that we live, man, is different than other rappers, man. You know what I'm saying? And they only got to see a piece of it. This thing, the shit we lock, all this shit be locked up for, and all this other shit. Like, this is fake, right? Here. I'm telling you, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna give out a real life, real story, and everything in my movie, man. You know what I'm saying? But y'all think it's just me on OBH records? You know what I'm saying? Other people have a lie, y'all. Yeah, they don't know. Like my co is lying. You know what I'm saying? One of my co defendants lives in LA, Dominican Republic for eight years. You know what I'm saying? My OG lives in fucking. At least for eight years, you think I'm saying? And all the cars, Lamborghinis, songs, and all them things. And we was doing that shit back in 07. Always, you know what I mean? Kyle's been living his life on the cousin. I mean, Shotty did nine years. Like my other co defendant, he did nine years. Beat two murders, you think I'm saying? When y'all see the movies, it's gonna be raw. You think I'm saying? Yeah, that's what a lot of people are waiting on. I'm gonna need a director too, to say his brother, like I said, you know. Yeah, man. Also, the audio books, Ab, man. You know, like, because you just got. I'm going to put together now. That's what's up. 
like, this shit gonna be crazy, man. Like, on some real shit, like, the movie's gonna be crazy because people think they know. They really don't know. You know what I'm saying? Shit way deep in the world. You know what I'm saying? Everybody think all the little interviews I did was getting me in trouble, man. When I, I did them interviews, we was chilling, man. I just got a big contract for rap for my record lumpy label. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, we was chilling, man. We was selling properties and flipping property at that time. And all that shit was just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I did the interviews about, oh, shit, I got locked up. Only reason we locked up because of Chaz. Chaz was getting fouled and he started telling and lying and all types of other bullshit, man. He wanted Chaz for some shit and Chaz just dragged us all in. You yeah. understand my whole indictment? We ain't got no drug sales. You dig know what I'm saying? At trial, they can't talk about no drug sales. You dig know what I'm saying? Right. The drug sales they had was Ted's making drug sales. You dig know what I'm saying? I wasn't out there doing them. Interviews didn't get us caught up in nothing. That ain't nothing we had going on. That shit was always a lie. <laughs> it seemed like I had a record, I had a, I had a, I had a fucking uh, a label deal, distribution deal. You know what I'm saying? Distribution check. You dig know what I'm saying? And I had my barbershop running. I had all these properties. You dig know what I'm saying? They were trying to stop my flow. My, my, my coat was sitting in my overhead, a big ass mansion. We was living our lives, man. You know what I'm saying? And the whole thing is they wanted to stop that. It's kind of like Brett Jealous was mad at us. You know what I'm That's what that was about. We didn't really do nothing. You know what I'm saying? They came a, little, they, they came a year or two late. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Yeah, man. I'm... That's it. Been over. You know what I'm saying? They came late and just locked us up with some, some bullshit. They just, you, you already stopped and just living legit. That's what they did. When you start living legit, it's going to start coming. You want to fuck with you know what I'm saying? Same thing happened to Bobby Shmurda. As soon as you start living legit, y'all want to come and try to get up on some bullshit. You already didn't stop me chilling. Man, I was in the crib. I was taking my daughter to the to practice. I had a fucking day. I take my son to football practice. Taking my kids up from school and taking them to school. Fuck you, you know what I'm saying? Y'all come at the wrong time. But my whole joint is like, you know, peace, man. It's money, man. Put all the beef shit aside and get and run a bag up. That's my thing. And I'm trying to squat this shit. That's it. You dig know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's time to my put thing, that shit to bed. My thing is regardless, regardless of what's going on, we got to deal with that shit in-house. You dig know what I'm saying? Regardless of any issues we got, you know what I'm saying? We deal with the in-house. We don't go to the on the internet and do that shit. You dig know what I'm saying? 